in the garage today yeah we're looking at fans so i had the need to mount another fan in the garage i've got just that little one over there which oscillates back and forth and it does okay but there are days when the high humidity and heat of the summer where i'd like to have something more dedicated to just this bay this is a lot of times where i'm working here in the land of grills and uh where else would i go i went on amazon went to our friends at vbor and lo and behold they had a two pack and i'm thinking well i really don't need two out here but but you know what i could use one in the basement so we'll take a closer look show you on amazon like i said this is the metal wall fan it's an 18 inch from vbor uh let's take a look at all the specifics all right so here it is on amazon i'll leave the link down below you can see it's 18 inch uh 360 degree tilt so you could mount this on a ceiling and point it down uh but in this case you know i'm just mounting it on some uh two by four shelves that i made and it's sturdy enough for that in the basement i'm probably going to put it on the ceiling and uh, put it right by the one of the windows in case i ever need to do some good ventilation i can open up the windows in the basement and get a good breeze down there uh especially when i'm doing a project during the winter months let's take a look at some of the other things that it's got going on to it uh you can see i think it's three speeds so the cover comes off which makes installation a lot simpler uh because there's two nuts inside there and uh i, I tell you what good thinking there and it also make cleaning of them if you ever need to clean them blades then you can just remove the guard uh, and clean the blades and always remember to put the guard back on yeah putting this up if you got a, a workout room at, at home th this is uh definitely a handy thing to have if you if you're using them needing a little bit of a breeze in your workout room. I already turned it off so you can hear a little bit better. But there's your specifics on it. It says ball bearings is 120, so you can use it off of 110. There's your dimensions right there. It's wall mount. You can see it weighs 24 pounds, uh, 18 inch two pack. Uh, it does tilt. No batteries required. Uh, it is three speeds. So let's take a look at that. All right, so it is a three speeds here. Let's see if I can hold you and do this all at the same time. So before when I had it on, that was that was low. I don't have anything really rated for CFMs on this. But that's low. Let's uh, put it on high. I'm on medium. That's medium. Sounds like a plane. And there's high. And it's moving a lot of air that is pretty gosh darn impressive i can feel it all the way back all the way back at the entrance to the garage so that's going to ventilate really nice in the garage and you know i was thinking of just putting it there for this video but now i'm i think i'm going to leave it because uh that really makes a difference especially in the summertime let's uh take a look at the price all right talk briefly about installation they do give you an installation packet which has got a longer thing for on and off they give you one serious anchor if you're going to be putting this like into concrete or something like that there's three holes back there i used wood screws some heavy duty wood screws just take a quick look at that you can see what i did right there and that seems to be working just fine and then you can tighten it up with those two right there so what i did is i took the uh the fan shroud off and i undid the fan from the bracket installed the bracket and then uh, with the shroud off, put it back on, tighten it up, and then put the shroud back on. It was the easiest way of doing it. So relatively easy installation. Well, I was gonna show you the price and, it, and it's gone. I, I don't understand that. 146 bucks is what it was. So I don't know if they're changing their price on it or a lot of times when the price isn't there, that means they sold out because this really is a good deal. Um, there's your CFMs. We were talking about CFMs. There's your CFMs. So on high there was 4,150 CFMs. Things pretty cool. All right, there it is. Vivor on Amazon. Hopefully they get it back in stock. There's one that's going in the basement. Tom Horseman on YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.